So when I went over this project in my head, I didn't realize just how annoying these uh, G.I. Joe overlays were to actually remove. I don't really know how they're put on. It might be like before all of this is already assembled, so I think I might need to heat everything up and pull it apart and then get everything off like that. Uh, but anyway, this project is supposed to be like a little Wesker kit bash. And uh, for that, I need these three figures. Um, I'm gonna use the legs from this snake eyes here. I'm gonna use this torso and uh, I'm gonna use this overlay. And uh, I think that's a pretty close match to his Code Veronica look. So um, yeah, let's just start heating everything up. So the good thing about G.I. Joe is that everything is on these really nice, easy to remove joints. So they're very, very easy to kit bash. And uh, unfortunately, the torsos themselves don't really come off this piece here, but with the rubber overlays, it's not that much of an issue. Okay, so once again, everything is heated up and... Ah! It's really hot! And... Everything just slides off pretty easily. Okay, this actually got so soft that I don't need to remove the arms good because I don't really like removing these arms because of the butterfly joints. So let's see, do we need these legs? No, we actually don't. So let's, while everything is still hot, let's put this guy back together like so. Oops. I mean, I'd say this is still a pretty cool looking figure, so. And now for Flint, gonna heat them up. Ah! So even though this like pelvis piece is green, it doesn't really matter because this usually covers the entire thing. Is this smaller than the other one? No, it's not. Okay. And hopefully this is still soft enough that... Okay, it was. There we go. A Wesker, like, general body. And I am an idiot! I should have put this on first. Uh, darn it. What if I... Force this on, like... So, do I actually have to? That was a bit risky, honestly, but that was also me being extremely lazy. I might have had to pay the price for that, but it seems like we got away scot-free. And I'm referring to me just kind of pulling on the arms instead of properly heating them up. Why isn't this going on? There we go. And now with the overlay on, we can put the legs back on like so. And then the final part is to get the arms back in. And after a quick heat up, it's extremely, really simple. Like so. And let's not forget the hands. So I say this looks pretty freaking great. However, it, it's just a little bit too black. So, um, the Code Veronica model actually has these clamps, well, not, not like quite these, but very similar clamps to these, and uh, they're like grey slash silver, and um, I'm just gonna paint them grey to give like a little dash of colour, I guess. And I need a thinner brush.
there we go that's a little dash of extra color but uh, yeah this is my custom wesker now code veronica version and i think he looks pretty freaking fantastic like let's put him next to barry looks good uh, I still haven't finished up Chris yet. I need to give him a shorter G.I. Joe body, but the head sculpt is really good still. I love this Chris head sculpt by NECA. And uh, just for funsies, here he is with my custom Jill and my custom Leon. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. Quite a jolly mess he's made, that Leon, but all for the better. Sadler's people have fallen into a panic. Their destruction is only a matter of time now.